Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, how do you feel about bizarre foods? Uh, you know, Jonas, I've been a prime proponent in saying that I will try just about anything once. Okay, let's see if you'll try these. I got 20 of the most bizarre foods in the world. <laughs> and this fucking video is insane. Whatever. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, this is an AI weird video. <laughs> As you can see, there's, it's obviously Jonas, AI. All right, focus. <laughs> Sorry. Focus, focus. focus. All right, focus. so we'll start out with this one. Kazu Marzu. All right, that is the uh, that's the cheese with the maggots in it. Yeah, pretty, pretty familiar with that. How pretty. do you know that? Uh, I'm you know I I pay attention to the streets. All right, would you it's a delicacy. That? Uh, yes, I would try cars and Mars. It is a uh, all right. It is a uh, it's a delicacy. What about a century egg? A century egg. Uh, this is not a balut egg. This is different. Uh, a century egg, I believe, is like rotten eggs. Isn't it a rotten egg? How are you? So, did you see this list? No, I know these foods. Do you really? Yes. Oh, you're blowing my mind. It's 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 a, a sharp ammonia scented egg. It's it's ammonia like a, it's disgusting. Scented, it, yeah. it stinks like ass. Yeah, and they're like black and shit too. I mean stuff. What about bosentang? Bosentang. Now bosentang, I've never heard of. Give me give me a little bosentang, Jonas. It's a stew no ditty. Mead with made with dog meat. Okay. The puppers. It's it's from it's from, it's, <laughs> it's a pupper. Why are you saying like it's that? It's from South Korea. Well, uh, duh. <laughs> Where else would it be from? No, see, now okay, look. All right. So, a lot of people are saying you can't eat dogs, right? I mean, you can. <laughs> it's physically possible to. Yes, it is. You can eat anything, I guess, in that in that matter. I'm not against eating a dog if it's in, you know, Prepared properly. In Korea, when in Rome, when in Korea, that sounds so crazy because, like, you know, Western culture, we look at dogs kind of like the way that Hindus look at cows. You know? Yeah. It's like they would never dream of eating a cow, and we're just like, Pfft. old yellow sandwich. I put that ish on everything. Okay. All right. Uh, would you eat? Would you eat dog meat, Jonas? Sorry. If I. How do you feel about eating? If I dog didn't meat? know it was dog meat up front, maybe. <laughs> You wanted somebody to lie they to tricked you? Me. I'm gonna be more pissed off if you lie to me and, and tell find me out it's his dog afterwards. Yeah, you better let me know what I'm putting in my mouth, boy. No diddy. Pause. No diddy. No diddy. Uh, fruit bat soup. All right, that sounds like it's just bats in a bowl. Boiled fruit bat soup. Yeah, yeah. Boiled yeah. fruit bat though. I don't like uh, that. I'm thinking like if you're gonna give me fruit bat. You gotta at least barbecue That's that up. That's from Palau. Yeah, well, they don't know how to season anything there. Um, yeah. I don't know. Shirako? Okay. It's Japanese. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's fish sperm sacks. I'm sorry, excuse me, what? Fish sperm sacks. Like, how many do you need to, like... I don't know. There's a big old pile in the picture. Like, what do you? How many do you need to like put in a bowl and like pour milk over them, or what? Do, how do you eat them? How do you even eat these things? Uh, it looks. They look like they're just like raw flaps of flesh. Raw flaps of flesh. So we're taking. Okay, so look, Jonas. This is, this isn't too far off from some stuff that you would see. We already eat fish eggs, right? Which is this like essentially like you know caviar. Oval. Yeah, it's caviar, but it's like I, fish. Well, I don't eat fish eggs. It's like fish ovum. They just like plop them out, and we're eating those, right? Yeah, like when you pick up a fish and they're dropping out like marbles. Yeah, also like bull testicles. Yeah, that's... like I've I've heard that thinly layered, thinly sliced, they can be quite or uh, quite chewy. Another one on the list is Rocky Mountain oysters, which is deep fried bull which testicles, is, and yeah, they're that's... whole. Yeah, they're yeah, not sliced. Well, I hear that bull testicle thinly sliced is okay. You put it on like bread or like on a scone. Oh, like an avocado toast? <laughs> yeah, I don't like the thick wedge of bull so, like, testicle. Like a whole ball, like you just pop it in and like bite into it like a Cadbury egg. No, because like, mm, yeah. no, you bite into it and then all the juice comes out oh, of it. Oh, that ain't juice, friend. Yeah. You know what that is. <laughs> it's bull juice. It's bull juice. So uh, what about uh, Ubre Asada? Uh, carne asada. 
Um, yeah, yes, I, I like that, that too. I know what that is. That's beef. I like that. So I'll probably like this. It's a grilled cow udder. Udder, huh? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's. Huh. Looks like a little pork chop. You know, now, there's no real big difference in the parts of the cow that we deem canonically, you know, like normal to eat versus eating. Sucking another. on their, eating their grilled titty. Bro, people eat all parts of the cow. I mean, if you honestly think about, like, what's in that beef stick you that you ate. You want an udder? I'm not saying that I want to. I'm just saying is that it's not weird. The beef stick that you literally just ate had it like hooves. lungs and a-holes, dude. It had hooves in it, my man. I hope so. So I don't really see, would you rather eat the hoof or the other? I don't know. Neither. The, t the, the, the hoof I just ate tasted good as shit, though. And then you drink milk. You, oh, you drink God, it straight. Have some of that. You That's... sucking on a cow's udder. You're just taking the juice right I out of it. Take it straight out. It needs to be Louis Pasteur. Well, I mean, yeah, it's cleaned up a little bit. Congratulations, they cleaned up the j the cow jizz that you just sucked down. That's not jizz. I mean, it, it kind of is. I don't. You're. It kind of look, man. Look at what it comes out of. In udder. Look at the color. Which is a titty. Look at the coloration of it. Of it. It's a little phallic. It's a little, you know, a, I, it, ex post facto. I, I think you're just trying to put weird things in my mouth. Mm, it's a little mea culpa, you know? Okay. All right. Well, let's get going. Let's keep going. <laughs> what do we mean? Maguro no Madama. Uh, that sounds like uh, seafood to me. It's cooked tuna eyeballs. I was, I was like close, though. You see that? Yeah. How did I know that? Gross, dude. They're hard. They're like a marble. I mean, if you grill it's them like up. It's a jawbreaker. If you grill them up. Oh, and you crack them open. You wonder what the inside like warm and smushy. Mm -hmm. I just remember watching, uh, like, what was it? Uh, the Fear Factor with Joe Rogan. Oh, he would factor it up. And they would always have, like, the cow eyeballs. And I remember whenever anybody would, like, bite into oh, them. Oh, it would, like, pop. It like, yeah, it would crack in their mouth. And you could just, like, see all the fluid run out. And it's like. That <laughs> made me want to die right exactly. now. Exactly. You remember. Uh, Hakari. Hikari. This is another oriental dish. Um, hmm. Sounds like a fowl of some sort. It is fermented pungent shark meat. Shark meat. Another another fish dish. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fermented shark meat. See, now when you say fermentation, that just means they let it spoil a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, we're going to let that spoil a little bit, and then we're going to feed it to your ass. Oh, my God. That sounds so gross. What? Just all of it. Why? 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 You know, you don't, have, you don't have an adventurous palate? I do not. Here's another one. Vegemite on toast. You can't just say that's a joke. It's just yeast <laughs> you, spread, yeah. You're so. literally you're reading from the from the uh what do you call that? The BuzzFeed, and that's just a joke. Vegemite is widely accepted as There's delicious. There's so many gross ones left, and we're almost out of time. <laughs> well, that's perfectly fine too, Joe. This is okay. We don't have to name them all. No, the ones the good ones are left. Well, give me a good one here's then. A, here's here's a really good one. It's called virgin boy eggs. I don't like that terminology <laughs> at from, all. Uh, Don Yang, Don Yang, China. All right. Are it, those damn Don Yangians? It is eggs cooked in the urine of prepubescent boys. Boy, I've heard of this ish before. I don't even know. The crazy thing is that I've heard this before. <sighs> That sounds. I don't like. Why do Asian countries do weird stuff? I know, listen, the, we ain't, they ain't the only ones. God damn it! Look, it's it's. You ain't buying. You ain't buying virgin boy eggs in Hartford, you, Connecticut. You're definitely not. You're definitely not. But you know, you're not too far off from it. If, if you think about it, when you think about all the stuff that's going around, we got Epstein's and stuff. We don't know what they're doing out there. Yeah, we some, just don't. Some other hot takes before we go is frozen whale skin and blubber, reindeer fat fish berries ice cream, raw blood pudding. Raw blood pudding, the, I've the, heard what, of. Yeah, chicken beaten to death. <laughs> yeah, chicken beaten to death is chicken Be beaten to death it's because it tastes better when it's violent. Abused. Yeah, so I don't know. That's some disgusting foods. 
Uh, uh. So uh, I just wanted to share them and get your uh, spot on. I think you're going to get some Virgin Boy eggs. Oh, uh, that sounds gross. I'm good. Thanks. All right. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please put in the comments which one of those you would eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> for, TNT. For Jonas, TNT. TNT. Uh, we yeah. out. Yep, yep.